At six, the Rhode Island Senate has approved a bill that would criminalize the act of stolen valor. This comes one week after the House passed similar legislation. The bills are inspired by the investigation into a Warwick woman who's now facing federal charges for profiting off a fake bronze star and purple heart. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts is live at the State House tonight with more. Amanda. Well, Mike Shannon, this bill would make lying about being a service member and profiting off of it a misdemeanor crime. And today, the Senate passed that bill unanimously. In a 37 to 0 vote, the Senate passed the bill that's similar to the House bill passed last week that was inspired by the investigation into Sarah Kavanaugh. The Warwick woman is accused of lying about being a wounded U.S. Marine Corps veteran and recipient of a Purple Heart and Bronze Star. And she's accused of scheming to collect hundreds of thousands of dollars in veteran benefits. Benefits. Meanwhile, she never actually served. The Senate's bill would make it a crime to fraudulently represent oneself as an active member or veteran of the military or armed forces and obtain money or property through that. It also makes it a crime to falsely represent oneself as a recipient of a distinguished military honor. The crime would be a misdemeanor with a punishment of no more than a year in prison or a fine of $1,000 or both. Now, the senator who introduced the bill on the Senate side said he did so after veterans in his district came to him concerned. Somebody in any case that would falsify themselves to obtain monetary benefits or any other benefits, that type of thing, it's shameful, it's distasteful, um, kind of a slap in the face, if you will. Now, this bill will head to the House in a few weeks where it's expected to pass, and then it will head to the governor's desk. Live in the State House tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.